Hi guys, Mama Mita here. Now today I want to talk to you about getting to your first destination. So when I had the bike and I first started out, I did different places. At one point I even crossed over into Canada and, and had a little time over there in Canada on the bike and stuff. But I wanted to suggest to you a very nice location that I think is a great starting point if you're really interested in starting out with bike touring. And that would be from Miami to Key West. I did that one year and I just absolutely loved it. It's something that has always been dear to my heart is remembering all the wonderful memories that I had from that bike touring. Now what I did is I flew from Seattle to Miami with my bike and when I got into the airport is I opened up my bike and I put my bags on and I went ahead and I went to my destination which was Suntan Villa that I was staying overnight at. And it was just really nice because um, it was kind of different. I had never done anything like that before. And when I looked online, I thought, uh, you know, I don't know about this place. Oh, well, I'm just going to do it. If it doesn't work out, then I'll just, you know, call up, you know, the taxi or the cab and go to a regular hotel. All right? But I'm going to try it. I mean, I, I like adventures. So I arrived at Suntan Villa and the guy that was operating the, uh, the place was from Cuba and he had his mom that stayed at the house with him. And so you would walk to the, you walk to the living room and then you went over to the back part of the house, which was the kitchen. And then he had like a, an area, like a big patio on the back. And that opened up into where all the action was. And there was people from different countries. Um, and he spoke, you know, his native language, which was um, Spanish first one. And then, you know, English. And they had all these people from different countries and stuff. And it was so much fun. He had set up... Um, tents, different tents around in his backyard, and the whole perimeter of the backyard was covered with banana trees, so you nobody could really look in and see and stuff, and then he had in the very back part of, of the backyard area, had like a, a, a makeshift kitchen where you could do your own food if you wanted to, and then he had like a little smaller cabin, but he had bathrooms that you could do showers, you know, or you could go there and use the bathroom, uh, but he had all these tents, and so I stayed in the tent, and I stayed there for two days, and just had the best time so in the morning time and during the daytime too he would go make the runs to the airport and back to pick up people or take people to the airport and then in the morning time you you got offered if you wanted to have breakfast it was three dollars and that would include the uh, the egg one egg and your a big piece of french toast and then you would uh, get a coffee, a Cuban coffee and stuff. And then people would leave and they would go see sites around Miami and stuff, you know. And then when it came time for me to leave, I put my bags back on my bike and I had it down the highway or down the road. And so the first stop I went to was a Homestead, which was about 30 miles from his house, 30, 34 miles from his house. And then uh, I continue, I stayed overnight there and then I continue on to going towards Key West. Now... There is one highway that takes you to Key West, and you're going. To, this tour was about 163 miles from me from his place down to Key West, and then I continued from Key West. I took a foot uh, ferry over, which was a boat, over to Fort Myers, and that that was like about I think maybe 98 dollars for that uh, boat. And it dropped me off at uh, Fort Myers. And then I rode my bike up to the hotel, stayed overnight there, and got up the next morning and continued on to um, Tampa to take my plane out. But on the bike ride going from Miami to Key West was just absolutely wonderful. I hope I can describe this uh, the right way and all. But okay, so the first place that you're going to get to would be Homestead, Homestead out of his place. And then after you go from Homestead to Key Largo. Okay, so then when you got to Key Largo, then you had all these little towns that would connect going all the way down to Key West. So, um, you have on the right side uh, of the highway, you have beautiful beaches. You have these uh, art galleries and things that you can do and see, boats that you can take out for a ride or go fishing or whatever. And on the left-hand side, the same thing. There is lots of bridges to cross. There's one main big bridge 
that's seven miles. Now that bridge is very in intimidating. Like I was like scared because I was a beginner rider and I was like, oh my gosh, how am I ever going to get over that bridge? I was just scared to death of that bridge. So I put in my mind that, okay, if I get blown off of the bridge or someone knocks me off the bridge, I'm going to just dog paddle to the post because I could see that there was posts. But when I got to the bridge and I got up there and I looked over, I was like, oh, that's not gonna work because there was no way to get up the bridge. I mean, up the up the post. It was like, uh, I guess I would learn how to swim. But anyway, I kept on going and I crossed that bridge. I mean, I just kept going so strong and finally I got over the bridge. Now I had stayed at the RV park right before you cross over the seven mile bridge. And I had had breakfast that morning and I was so nervous over this bridge that I left my passport on the table at the, at the restaurant. So my cell phone's ringing. I pull into the little um, uh, park there after the seven mile bridge. Cell phone's ringing, I answer the phone. I don't know who this is, but it's a good thing I answered because it was lady at the restaurant telling me, honey, you left your passport. <laughs> on the table and I'm like oh my goodness I was just so nervous cross that bridge did you cross the bridge did you cross the bridge yes I did she said oh well good for you she said you know what I'll bring you your passport so she did she brought me my passport so I went on down the road this is a wonderful experience this road going to Key West you get to see all the history there's beautiful state parks there's one area after and now the areas are not very far. Like there's from Key Largo to Ismadora, there's like 16.7 miles. That's not so far. And you've got water on both sides. That you, beautiful views, just outstanding, breathtaking views. Then from Esma, Esmadora to uh, Conch Key, you know, or Layton, you know, there's like 14 miles. And then the next city to Marathon is like 16 miles. So it's not that far and it's easy. There's wide shoulders on the road on both sides. On the right hand side, you have a heritage trail beautiful trail that goes it's kind of shaded and it's it's a uh, very large um sidewalk where two uh two or three bikes can pass through uh side by side so it's fairly large and then you got the shoulder of the road that's where i stayed on i didn't want to do the heritage trail because i don't hear very well and i didn't know if I, you know there might be a snake or an alligator and stuff and i'm not as scared of them but i can't hear them to move away from them so I pretty much stayed on the side of, uh, of the shoulder of the road going down. But on the other side, you've got a huge sidewalk area there and kind of covered with trees and stuff. But once it breaks, you have another breath breathtaking view of the ocean. Uh, it's just beautiful. And it's all the way like that to Key West. Then once you get into Key West, you know, there's a hotel, there's places to stay, there's places to eat, there's art galleries. You've got wall-to-wall -wall streets of entertainment. And then you can go to, uh, to the end where you see the, uh, where it shows you directly across, is 90 miles across the water is Cuba. Absolutely beautiful vacation. And this was right before Christmas when I went. So I had to go out and get some lights for my bike because I had to decorate my bike. There's people that they put Christmas trees on their bikes and they're riding through the parade. You're just going to have a great time. Now, if you think that that's too many miles for you to do, there is a bus that comes from... Uh, from uh, up by, I think maybe Key Largo, maybe it starts up, it's right in, it, like right at the beginning of the highway. It starts up and it makes several stops all the way down to Key West. And you can just hop on, hop off as you need to be. Um, there, I had no trouble finding bathrooms, no trouble finding a gas station to peel in, to go to the bathroom, to get something to drink, to maybe get an ice cream, to get something to eat. There's lots, I mean, just, it's beautiful. And that time of the year was not hot, hot. Like, I, I would not do it in the summer. There's just no way, because temperatures can be smoldering in that, in that heat down there for me. So I chose that time, and it was the best time time ever just had a great time so i just wanted to let you guys know that today if you're thinking of something like this 
and, and where you might go. That's a wonderful, wonderful trip. And there's, of course, there's lots of Airbnbs, so you don't have to really stay in a, an expensive hotel because the closer you get to Key West, the more expensive it's going to get with hotels and stuff. So you really have to plan your trip early and make sure that you've got everything in lined up and know where you're going and what you're going to be doing. There's lots of boat trips there. Um, there's places that, that you can go and visit. There's Hemingway. He's got his place there. That's a beautiful place. If you're allergic to cats and you might not want to go there because he's got his cats. He's got lots of cats there, but it's a very interesting place. The house is absolutely beautiful house. Wow. There's just so many things to see and do there. Now, when I left Key West and I got on the boat, um, I took the boat across to F Fort Myers and it dropped me off. It's about maybe a three or four hour trip. I, I don't remember, but the boat goes pretty fast. And I got there really kind of late at night. So then I rode my bike up to the hotel and stayed there at the hotel. Uh, and then the next day I left, heading on to Tampa. Tampa, I think, was like maybe 127 miles. So that took me a few days to do that. There were some uh, some areas going towards Tampa that didn't have great shoulders of the road. But, you know, you can always check other roads. And it's been a while since I've been there. So maybe the roads have changed a lot since then. But I think that's a great place to start if you want to do something like this. Because there is always that rescue bus that if something happens or if your bike breaks, you can't fix it. You know, you can hop on the bus. You can head back to Miami and get your bike fixed. You can decide what you want to do at that point. There is lots of options. A great place to start. I don't think you would ever regret going that trip. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have today, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Thank you very much. And you guys have a wonderful day. Bye now.